Uh, Kazakhstan comparatively uh, around the same. 33, 28, 21, and 33 uh, their ages as we get this one underway. Quick draw. Good execution. The young bucks of Kyrgyzstan had that same exact play to free up the shooter at the U18 World Cup, by the way. Right place, right time. To convert that uh, first score for Kazakhstan, Peko. He misses everything but the glass. That's a foul on the set screen. Oh, officials in this one. She wrong she. And Kim Gain. By the way. Gotta give him their 15 seconds of fame. I yeah. missed it at the beginning of the uh, of the, uh, the intros. So there you go. The good thing is you can give them much more than 15 seconds because it's a five-day competition. So we got time to give them more. That is true. Adiyev, quick move, Adiyev. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Bounce himself oh. out. Adiyev will come away with the Wilson. Trying to work some two-man game from the right wing. Cross. Wait a minute. Stepped on the line. And I'll tell you one thing. Ibrahim Konisov, he got a forearm capable of pushing you back 10 meters. This is exactly what happened here. Good flash. Pretty solid dude. He's solid for sure. Ain't missed many workouts. And you need players like that that bring that toughness even more so than have an outstanding skill set not saying he doesn't have skill set no but the thing about 3x3 is that skill is never going to be enough for you to win great job racing the contact and spinning free on the baseline samson with that beautiful move the 21 year old showing some flashes here early he flashes to the paint get that man to rock the big fella is eight scrumptious three zip kazakhstan Oh. Comes up empty that time. Baseline drive here mid times. Kazakhstan begin their attack, but that one is halted because of a step on the baseline. Kyrgyzstan still searching for that first bucket. Shivan Bekov from the Indio logo. Gets it back. He's on the drive, moving left. He's going to do the one-legged fader, counting. That was tough. Nice shot. He got some something in his bag. That layup comes up in. Subban Bekov will give it up to get it back. He's going to oh. run. He's punched the clock. Subban Bekov off balance. No. Kaliyev. But Dangerous gonna, pass right there. I, I was going to tell you, Kyle, I think that Kyrgyzstan needs to uh, not go crash into the Kazakhstan wall too close to the cut. It's a physical team, and I think they need to work around maybe shooting up mid-ranges a little bit, yeah. trying to get cleaner shots because they're going, they have good ideas, but then they're trying to finish physically close to the cup, and that's not a battle they're winning so far. They're playing the really Kazakhstan strength. Right, because right. Because they are a strong team, and they embrace that contact. They want they're that. They're not giving up any ground when you when you make a move on them, drive it to the bucket. Kazakhstan enjoying a three-point lead. In the early goings, Adiyev draws the contact on the way up. So Adiyev with 33. Brings plenty of experience uh, to this team with nine international caps. I like the shoe game too. I don't know what those are. It's uh, the um, Doncic. Those are the Doncic's. I want to say yes. I like those. I like that too. I'm going to check it though. Because the thing is this now. Shoes, a lot of brands look like uh, each other on certain models. No, the, the shoe game has changed so much, man. I can't tell you whose shoes are what these days. Hey, but he's shooting that thing up, though. I'll tell you this. Shoot like Cuban. You gotta love that. 5 3. Lace up. 6 3. Kazakhstan. 
Tough shot. That looked like it was online from our angle. What a quick pass. Nice look. Kaliev setting the table. Adiev. He steps back, creates some space, using the screen, redirects, lost it inside. That's good defense. He said, you respect my territory. Samson. And he has been a brick wall on the interior for Kazakhstan. As we head into our first TV timeout, Kazakhstan in the driver's seat at the moment. And Kyrgyzstan have found themselves in a, in a physical confrontation against uh, just a couple of countries that could be. Is there a rivalry between Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan? Well, to me, there's not. There are not enough precedents to really say that there, there, there's a real rivalry. Okay, okay. All right. There's proximity. Yeah, I was going to say the proximity. There's the proximity. Regional. The regional, but at the end of the day, have they have they competed enough to say there's a real rivalry? Because to me, rivalry is built within time. Yeah, and you've got those historic games right. and big moments. Okay. Right. And, but, or at least, let's say that you could, you could say they matched up for the past three years and it was a battle every year. But that's not the case there. Not the case. You're right. But it could start today. Subban Beko back on Samson. We'll get it clear. Here come Kazakhstan. The space is oh, not great. Oh, beautiful that time. He threaded the needle on the inside. Samson is getting to, to work here for Kazakhstan. That's where he's at a little bit of a disadvantage. He's not going to be guarding uh, anybody on the perimeter. Affected. Yeah. Well, he could, but he got to gap him a bit more. Yeah. And but then, but then you become susceptible to the two-point shot because... But he has length, so you have to play okay. to your strengths. You can make it, a, you, at least it's safer and you can still challenge somehow. That was a nice challenge at the rim. Wilson ends up in Kyrgyzstan's possession as we approach the six minute mark in an 8-4 contest. Kazakhstan, Adiyev, ISO game. He gets oh, oh. off the to-do list. He deposits in the bank. And 8-6 is the result. Oh, yeah, there's some contact here. Yeah, a worthy whistle on the baseline, a shooting foul. Kaliev steps up to the line and tries to get some more breathing room for Kazakhstan after seeing Kyrgyzstan more within two here recently. You gotta touch the rim, buddy. You gotta touch the rim. All right, Peko. Be patient. One point game. Can you stand? A wide open shooter. And they made to pay double. Nice knockdown from 2 3 for Kazakhstan. Kornisov, Ibrigan. Adiyev. Maybe, maybe that's the mismatch identified, Kyle, because you see, once again, the big boy, Samson Ramazan, can't stay in front. So maybe Kyrgyzstan needs to isolate that. And they did again. They did again. That's a sneaky link right there. Sure, but he's not mobile enough. So the main aspect is, you see he's struggling to cover you defensively on both the drives and the two-man action. I think he's run out of gas. So he's, he's a liability in a pick and roll. But, man, let's see if the big fella can last another minute. It's 4.38 left, so the first dead ball after four minutes is going to be a TV timeout for both, both teams. But right now, if I'm Kyrgyzstan, I'm attacking. Adiyev. They must be listening to the broadcast. They are. They probably are. 10 10 game. And a timeout. But, oh, no way. I'm sorry. I, I, I thought I saw a timeout signal. No, it's, not yet. it's coming soon, though. Yep. But I tell you what, this is the potential key. Attacking the slower feet of Samson Ramazan for Kyrgyzstan. Kanisov, no, 
There's the big man. Hey, Samson. get out of here. He got his stuff packed. And then, not finishing his breakfast down low, giving an opportunity to Kyrgyzstan. Subban to... Bekol, no, that went out of bounds. And just a, oh, no, oh that's, to, that's Kyrgyz... lack of experience right there. Kyrgyzstan is ready to call a timeout. And, and official Simpo is saying, that, that's a great job officiating. Right. She didn't have to do that, but she, she said, are you sure? Look at the clock, it's 4.03 left. You're gonna get a break in the next dead ball. And, and this, is like the kind, this is the kind, this is the, this is the kind of refereeing that is making the game better. The interaction between players and referees. But technically, technically, you could pay, you should pay the price for your decision making. What a finish, uh, by the way, but true. That's true. That's a lack of experience. And you never know in a game this tight, you know, how badly you're, you're going to need that timeout down the stretch. For sure. Kaliev, uh, Kali no. Touches nothing, out of bounds, 336 left. And a game where Kazakhstan was leading by four. We've now seen that trim down to just one. Uh oh. I don't know what what you think, Czar. What, what how do, how's the rest of this gonna play out? Is, I mean, is the to momentum me, in Kyrgyzstan favor? I don't kinda. It, it's like what I have a hard time wrapping my my head around is whether they actually understood where the advantage is. Because Kyrgyzstan just pulled up a few quick buckets off the defensive mistakes of Sansin Ramazan. But did they identify that this is the key? Like, it happened because of the, the matchup with the big men. Because to, to me, the way it goes is they're just playing the game and the flow happened that it's just consecutive plays that added up to points for them. Yeah. Did they identify why they scored? That's the question. Well, we'll find out. It's more than just identifying, it's executing and putting it to, uh, to action. 11-10. Shout out to Clint Owen, he, uh, he, he mentioned Kazakhstan. Got a chance to meet him man, when I was in Astana. He told me that the, the Kyrgyzstan guys come to play on Kazakhstan team. So they're all friends, they know each other. That's what he says. So, so it goes back to what I was saying, like yes. the geography is close, but it's not like there's bad blood or anything. And don't forget, for the most part, all these countries, they're the same people. They are very close to the culture. Jab step, missed, 3.15 and count. Kazakhstan with a tenuous oh, double grip. Cross. Oh, he's untrustworthy. Cross that man like that. Hey, the oh, answer. Right, right back. <laughs> it's like saying, oh, you really want to double cross me? Then guess what? I got a double piece for you back. I got some for you too. <laughs> Subban Bekhol with that last two-point strike for Kyrgyzstan. Are we going to have the first real thriller of this tournament, man? On the what? The first real thriller. Like, finishing with a nail, nail biting. Wait, look, everything up to this point indicates just that. 13-12, IDF hitting with the Hezzy. Get over here, you know? Nice throw. Got a nice oh. result. Got oh, shot. big shot. All net. Uh oh, All slipping net. and sliding. Uh -oh. Fast break city. That's just an unfortunate occurrence there for Kyrgyzstan. Because Kazakhstan is now going on a 4 0 run. Kaliev. Good recognition. Nice Good recognition right there. That's the way to play. Adiyev just a little strong there. But this was a 12-12 game. And here we are, 17-12 in a blink. With 2.06 to play. So, Kazakhstan have come back alive. Just in the nick of time. So about that thriller you were just talking about. Well, uh, I was saying, I was asking, is it going to be the first one? And I guess we have the answer. Might not be. <laughs> that was just 30 seconds ago. So the make call. Good that, save, but to the wrong color jerseys. That's the subtlety of this sport, man. Tony so. switch at any second. Oh, Tony so, he blew a tire, lost his footy. 
ball will stay. Oh, he would stay with Kaki, so Kazakhstan. But uh, I, I, I got to reuse that one. He blew a tire. You saw that? <laughs> <laughs> I think I got to reuse that one. <laughs> Timeout on the floor. All arrows point to Kazakhstan with a buck 38 left. Yeah. Yeah. So blowing the tire thing is when you're kind of like holding your pivot foot, but your other foot just yes. slips. You saw it like his ankle twisted. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's like you're running flat. Yes. I like it. I like it a lot. Back to the action. We Coming up next, we're going to have a nice game, man, uh, between India and Macau. Yes. And uh, I'm curious to see how Macau is going to respond after losing that first game. That, uh, well, they're another team that we've seen that they, they have the makeup of a team that could be uh, competitive. Yeah. I got him on his heels. The beautiful spin move, Sabenga called. Samson. Losing people underneath. Sabin Mikol. Oh, what a slick pass. What a slick pass. Kyrgyzstan still down by two possessions. Nice hustle for the big man. He won't get there in time. But I'm 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 not ready to say this game is over with yet. You shouldn't. You got too I'm much experience ready. for that. I'm not ready to say it's over with yet. It's a minute eleven. Obviously, every possession here for, for each team is critical down the stretch, but a shot. That beautiful ball for Peko changes things. That, that yeah, can't, can't force that. If they score here, this game is done, cooked. Kaliev, it's not yet. Spin move, wait a minute. Then close out defense. A little bit late on arrival. Adiev. Fake that. Telegraph the pass. Getting still, 39 seconds remain. Need the team in jeopardy of being in the penalty. Although Kazakhstan do only have one more foul to give. Right now, Kazakhstan will start set up defensively. And Subban Bekov will open the possession up for the fellas in red, Kyrgyzstan. Quick move, Sabin Bekov. Create some space. Missed everything. Kazakhstan is going to use some clock. Going to go to their strength down low. IDF was not having it. Didn't touch the, uh, the rim, though. Ball away. No, bro. I tell you what, though. Kyrgyzstan needs to play till the very last second. Because even if they lose this game, if they score 15, 16, 17, it could be a difference maker later in the tournament. So don't. Don't stop until it's over. It's true. Even if, even if you don't win, Kyrgyzstan would be a welcome sight to get at least a bucket or two more. That's not how they're going to get it. 12 seconds left. Oh, what? Nearly threw it away. Adiyev d and up. Game clock and shot clock are pretty much even. 1.8 seconds. Well, 1.8 left on the shot clock, 2.1 left in the game clock. Kazakhstan, you still want to try to get a get a shot up here. Definitely. And final, even though it, you're going to get the win, but again, we talk about that potential tiebreaker scenario. And we'll see. Pony Soul heave one up at the horn. Won't go. But Kazakhstan will pick up a big win over uh, Kyrgyzstan in a friendly matchup. Brotherly between, matchup. Yes, a brotherly matchup. For sure. The two. But again, it's a four-point win for Kazakhstan. And qualifying draw C, second game. Qualifying draw D's fifth contest.